Hey guys, so last week I shared an article talking about some projects that you can do at home. But of course, to be able to work on those projects, download the data and analyze that data, you need a data science environment. So there are a ton of ways, a ton of different ways how you can set up a data science environment. But today I just want to show you a really simple way that you can just get going in five minutes so that you, know, you can work on those personal projects without any um, problems. Uh, as I said, you can just go as fancy as you want with it. Uh, today, what, we're, what I'm going to show you is downloading Anaconda, which is going to also have Python in it. And then later I will show you how to start a Jupyter Notebook and start uh, analyzing data on there. And also connecting our um, project to GitHub to have version control. Uh, so let's get started. So very simply, what we're going to do first is to Google Anaconda. And this is the website, their official website. We go to download. So um, this is where you should take a little bit of care because Python 2 and Python 3 are different. They have syntax differences. So if you've been specifically uh, training on Python 2, go ahead and download that one. But if you don't know the difference between the two, or don't know which one to choose, just go ahead with uh, Python 3. And we're going to click the 64-bit graphical installer and then wait for it to download. Once it's downloaded, we just go ahead and click it. and just follow the installation guidelines. And now we're done. We installed an Anaconda. Okay, now that the Anaconda is installed, we can go ahead to our Applications folder and start Anaconda Navigator. And here you see Jupyter Notebooks is already installed for us, so we just go ahead and launch it. So this is where you're going to work on, basically. And let's say you want to start a new project and then we start a new a project on the desktop, what you're going to do is start a new notebook here. It's choosing Python 3. So one thing we're going to do is to check that we have all the um, uh, dependencies, all the libraries that we need uh, installed already. So what we can do for that is to say import pandas. Something else we need could be import numpy. Uh, import mat lib that is a visualization library and if there are no errors that means that we can import them so that means that they're already installed um, so let's say we also want import a scalar in Oh, it's also here. So this is a scikit-learn library that you can uh, that has a lot of machine learning algorithms already defined. Uh, so now that we have all the libraries, let's uh, see what we can do. I already have a data set, small data set on the desktop. And uh, let's start with reading it. For example, we can say uh, first data frame. And for this, I'm going to do quickly as PD. This is just a really simple um, tradition that everyone does. Basically, you don't want to write pandas every time you want to use a function from pandas. You just say, OK, when I say PD, what I mean is pandas. And then we say PD read CSV. And I think the name of my file is ujobs.csv. 
and and as you can see we already have our data loaded now uh, so this is really simply how you can start working with it uh, but of course it's not a tutorial for python so or pandas so go ahead and learn that and this is where you can easily implement what you learned so let's say this uh, let's give it a proper name my first notebook and now we're going to learn how to um, version control this project on github what we should do first is to go on our desktop that's where our project is i'm just going to minimize those so that i can see my desktop so this is my data file and this is my notebook file so what I want to do is I want to go on my GitHub. Uh, if you don't have an account on GitHub, just go ahead and start one. It is really simple. It's just as uh, signing up to any website online. Uh, once you do that, once you're here, we click on new repository. And let's just give it any name. I don't know. Uh, my first project. Yay. Uh, you can leave everything else. Uh, maybe this one. Yes. So git ignore is basically when you are uploading your files to GitHub, you might have a lot of files that are redundant that are not needed for someone else to run your repository. So um, you just simply don't include them. And git ignore is the file where it is specified which files to ignore when you're uploading and downloading data from or your repository from GitHub. Uh, so we can just go ahead. So once we're here, you can give your project a good description. You can add a readme to tell people what this project is about, what they should do to use it. But we don't have to get in those anymore uh, right now. What, what we want to do is basically just to make sure that we have version control on GitHub. So when every time we change something and every time we push our changes to GitHub and we let's say there something broke with our last change, we can go back and see um, the old version that was working. Uh, so we just click clone or download. Click this little buddy here and then we go back to our desktop. So um, to get our project, we simply start a terminal. And I started on the Spotlight uh, search, but to start Spotlight search, you can also go to this little uh, magnifying glass. And I'm gonna start a new window with command N. And now we have to navigate to our uh, desktop. So if you know how to do it, just simply do it. But if you don't, so I'll show you some comments that you can use on the terminal. So ls is uh, show me everything that is under my current directory right now. So right now we're in the home directory. Uh, we want to go to desktop. As you can see, desktop is one step away. So what we do is we say cd and then write the name of the directory that we want to be in. And now we're in desktop and we can see, yes, my first notebook is here. EU jobs is here. We're in the right place. So what we're going to do is simply say git clone and then paste the link that we copied. And you see my first project is here now. That's great. So we can just open this. And as you can see, we don't see anything, but there was git ignore. Well, that's a hidden file, so we don't see it. Uh, so let's add my first notebook here and what you say is git status you can do this every time you change something uh, oh I'm, I'm on desktop first we need to go inside the file that's true uh, my first project and if you don't want to write a long uh, file name you can simply just write the first couple of letters and then click uh, press tab and then it um, completes it for you. So we're inside here. Now we can say git status to see the differences. It says, okay, you have uh, added a new file, but you haven't started tracking it. That's fine. Uh, so this will show us every time what has changed since last time, not like line by line, but a summary of what has changed. So we can say git add 
and that means all so add everything start tracking everything and then I say commit slash M is a necessary uh, there you just basically comment on uh, what is the change what did you change so we can say initial commit and to push it you need to say git push now we have pushed our changes so you can go ahead and see it here yeah and our notebook is now hosted on github as you can see so that's all i want to show you today now we have python ready we have anaconda ready we have our libraries and we connected or we learned how to connect our projects to github so i hope everything works for you and if you if something doesn't work you can comment email me and let me know uh, and i hope you'll start some nice personal projects and don't forget to share with me if you create something new so see you next time